This is the undercarriage of my van. She's got a little problem. Our van, sorry. Her muffler's falling off. All right, you guys, before we get into this video, I wanted to give a quick thank you to Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is a subscription-based, royalty-free website where you can get all the music that you need for your videos, podcasts, you name it. They've got you covered. And I know the pain that ensues when you've searched around for the right song for your video just to find out after it's been posted that the song is not actually royalty-free. So I'm excited about this partnership and uh, all the music that you're hearing in this video along with sound effects are from Epidemic Sound. So, now that you know that, let's get into it. Completely dead. Not even a ch 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 anything. All right. First things first, we jump in. Then, figure out why what's draining the battery. Knowing what you know now, do you feel like doing this today? No, I just got in the car to start it and move it because I felt like not doing it. That's a completely rusted out muffler. That's not supposed to look like that. It attaches up there, but it broke. So, we gotta swap it out. These are really terrible um, connectors. While, while Sweepy's charging up the battery, there's something I've been wanting to do on the vlog for a while now. It's gonna fix this little issue that we're having right now. You hearing me. Mind just throwing that on your person real quick? Hello. Yeah. So now, when I'm all the way over here, say something. I'm, I'm saying something in the van. Yeah, I can't hear her over here where I'm standing, yet you I'm can hear me. I'm the car now. And you can hear her at the exact same time. Should I try it? We're going to try these mics out on this vlog, and we'll see if we like them or not. I'm sure we'll love them. Oh yeah, don't do that anymore. I think that um, these connectors are crap. Like, look at this. Ooh. This is loose and the bolt is stripped out, so you can't really tighten it. I think that the alternator is not able to, and it wasn't running, able to charge the battery properly. And that's a brand new battery, so I don't think the battery's dead. I think it's something to do with the connection pieces. With it being at 11.8, it should be able to start, and then the alternator can charge it. I'm gonna see if it'll start. Okay, all right. Since the battery's drained and not getting charged back up with a jump, I think it's the connection pieces. It's pretty straightforward. They sell them in like a pack, and you can just replace the, you don't have to replace the wires, but the terminals that actually connect to the battery, they sell those, so we could go get them Another problem solved in Sweepy's Garage. Sweepy's Service Center. Ooh, full service? Um, he's gonna come ollie that stair set in front of AutoZone. All right, he's, he's been, been wanting to do it, asking. I guess. No time like the I present. said no at first, and I was like, fine. You just have to land it. So before we could even start working on the muffler, we gotta get the van started. Oop, Sippy wants to move it. I don't know why you need to move it to work on it. So we're gonna get the new, what are they called? Terminal connections. Terminal connections. Hook those up to the van. Shiloh is tagging along because he wants to ollie a four stair. Is it a four or five stair? Five stair. He gets one try. One try. <laughs> the AutoZone stair set. You got what we needed. Shiloh wants to try the five stair real quick. For it. You got it, Shy. Here he comes. Oh, that's good. You all ate a little late. Woo! Oh. All right, that was only three tries. That's pretty good. Three tries. Okay, back in the car. For you. Street mission. What? High five. I almost killed that car. Dang it. 
chickens got no respect. What is she doing? Next level, escape artist. Look at there's one on the fence, and she's throwing tomatoes off her tomato plant. Can you not, please? Just, just take it to the coop, would you? Go get it. Go fetch. Really? Here, I'll give you one, one extra even. This one's juicy. Kind of want to bite this one. Tastes so good. Oh, that's good. It's not a total waste. Is it hot? Hot and juicy tomato. It's probably so sweet. Can you hear that? Listen to that bite. Mmm. Okay, let's get back to this car. All right. Go get it. Go get it. This way. That way. Bye. All right, you guys, I'm gonna pause this video really quickly to talk to you about something that I have to deal with on a daily basis, and that is music for my videos. For filmmakers, there's nothing worse than when you create a video and you have something completed and polished, you go to put it online and you find out that the song that you're using is not actually royalty free. This has happened to me dozens of times on YouTube. Sometimes after the fact when the video is posted, it'll be demonetized because the song was falsely claiming royalty free. And this happens sometimes because people who are posting songs as royalty free aren't actually licensed to do so. So when it comes to posting my videos, the music and the sound effects in the videos have to be royalty free because this is how I make a living. So if you're a filmmaker like me or you have a podcast or a business and you need royalty free music and sound effects, Epidemic Sound has got you covered. Epidemic Sound is offering everybody who signs up a free 30 day trial period and they've provided me with a discount code to offer to you for a free two month trial period. So if you wanna sign up for Epidemic Sound, there is a link below and they've got the website dialed. Check them out, sign up, and let's get back into the video. Okay, back to the van. Who knows how old this terminal is on the van, but we do know that we can tighten this bolt down as much as possible, and the fitting is still loose and wobbly. Sure. Like this is, this bolt is completely tightened down, and it's still loose where I can pull it off. So it's definitely not getting a good connection. Yeah. So we're gonna replace them. Not necessarily that there was like corrosion actually on them, but if you look up close, it's got like just funky gunk. Use all three hands, okay? Tug. There you go. Why is my arm burning like I'm lifting 30 pound weights? That makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, I'm glad. Cross your fingers, babe. Ah. Well, we've got power. Need to check. So the van is cranking, but it's not turning over. So Sweepy thought that maybe it wasn't getting a spark to the engine, which could be caused by a bad fuel filter. So we're switching it out. Just about sunset. So we're gonna try and see if we can swap this out. The only thing is we need to depressurize the fuel system. Otherwise I will be bathing in gasoline. I think I know where it is. I'm just gonna pull a fuse and pray, I guess. There's a switch, inertia switch. If you undo it and then try and start the vehicle, I think it depressurizes it, but I'm not positive. Um, okay, so we're gonna go for it. There we go, got it. Ha! Yay! Doesn't seem to be much pressure in there. Right here. Got it. Did you stop recording? No. <laughs> oh man, I got a drop in my eye. Oh no, you're wearing goggles. Damn it, I gotta go flush it out. You think? Sitting still isn't gonna make it go away. I'm good. Really? Yeah, it's back in, putting the tabs on. Moment of truth, here we go. We're gonna see if she starts. Damn. 
Dang it. Uh, I guess we'll have to try again tomorrow. How do you do it? Oh my gosh. You're losing screws. You've got screws on here. You're losing screws. Where are they going? Onto the floor. Who, what were they to? Clamp. Hold on. There you go. Perfect. Is that here? Cool. Here we are. Day two. I wish I had dust off. Problem to start was that the car was dead. The van was dead. So we charged it. But it wasn't holding charge or even getting charged. So we replaced the terminal connectors because they were really gross and bad and then that helped with it getting a charge. So it finally got a charge and was able to, to crank, but it wasn't turning over. So we thought maybe fuel filter was gross. So we changed that out and it was gross. Went to do it again, still was cranking, but not turning over. So another suspicion was the ignition coil, which is like just one part right here that can be pretty easily switched out before we try and get into the actual engine and spark plugs and stuff. This is an easier first step. Yeah, so we're gonna, well, third step. Try that, and then we also need to charge it back up again. So what are we switching out right now? The ignition coil. Just this electrical component that helps with the spark so the engine can fire, and I think that that's why it's not firing, because I don't, I think that this is, I think this is our culprit. Real cute smudge on your on your under your eye. Yeah, sure. Wear your hundred year old plus wedding ring to work on cars. That's smart. Do you think that the van will start after replacing this piece? Yeah. Having a dirt bike growing up, anytime it wouldn't start, I'd just clean the spark plug and it would work. <laughs> so I'm biased to just hoping we can sw swap out the spark plugs or clean them and then the van will start. But I hope I'm wrong because that would mean that the van will start right now. <gasps> what was that? It just sounds so loud. Cause Why didn't you keep turning it? Because it sounded so loud because the, <laughs> the dog house is off. Ah! Said I learned an old trick when I was a little guy in high school to take my tires off my truck is to, to use my feet where I lacked in strength I made up for in ingenuity. Leverage, baby. It won't. Broke it loose. <laughs> oh gosh. Reached the end of the jack. One hour later, one rusty tailpipe. You earned. I did it. A pretzel. So. That's the piece. I got my chisel under here, like this, and I'm just peeling it around. I'm gonna break it off. Oh yeah, okay, hold on. I gotta go do the pasta chad. Pasta chad. Now 
now that's progress for the axle. Ah, look at that. Freaking did it. Point, it becomes a little bit semi-permanent. How's the back? Clean? Pretty clean? Please start. Ah. Yeah, baby. I did it! Well, cool, the, babe. I got the fuel um, system cleaner it needs to be put in there too. Okay. So let's pour that in and then get Yo, it. Yo, you hear that? That's the sound of a working van, baby. So this has kind of been a full van tune-up, like and then some. Yeah. The vlog spent on the ground.